Good afternoon, everyone. So we're going to play, be playing some more Harvest Salad today. And I think we might do some stream readers today. Let's uh, stream readers. Where are you? There we go. It's just loading. We'll wait for that to finish loading, and um, yeah, we'll start off the stream readers. Okay, where are we last time? Okay, we were on one of the harder bosses. So it might take a try or two before we get enough people in to do this, but anyway, we'll go for it, right? Okay, what are we going to go for? I'm just going to go and pick this regular guy here with this first one. Okay, I've got a feeling... I have just logged in onto the wrong save, so I'm going to just reset this. And let me just check auto save. Yeah, so we need this one. Okay, so yesterday, what did we do yesterday? We, oh, we unlocked the samurai job, that's it. We unlocked samurai. So let's take another look at that. So we managed to, uh, yesterday we managed to actually unlock quite a good amount of this job. We've got quite a lot of the new actions unlocked. Still, I'd say we're probably slightly over halfway. We've still got a few to go. Um... And we were farming materials to upgrade all the weapons, so I think we're going to continue with that because we still need a few more weapon upgrades. So, 11am, I think I saved after dealing with the farm, so let's just head straight out. Actually, let me check the food first. Oh, <laughs> My archer, you're not meant to like freak me out when it's a normal stream. <laughs> That's for creepy streams only. Can't you see I moved them? Like, all the way to the end so that you can find them. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? What happened to you yesterday? I thought you were going to come onto voice chat and um, hang out with us. <laughs> hey Rob, thank you so much for the raid. And I really enjoyed I actually started my stream like easily an hour late so that I could <laughs> watch you today. But thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that. Are you heading off to the cinema again or what are you up to today? You good night, Archer. That's good to hear. So, night, Archer. Have you? How far have you got now with the demo? Have you completed the demo? Have you liked it enough to buy the game? You kept dying and you rage quit. Oh dear. Well, you should have hopped on Discord. I told you I would be on Discord all evening. I could have helped you out there. So, if you want to later on when I finish the stream, if you want some help, just let me know, and I will help you out. So what are you up to for the rest of the day, Rob? Today is relaxing for you, no rush to the cinema this time. What did you go and see? Did you tell me that I asked you last time? I don't remember. Uh, right, food. What have I got? I've got a few chocolate fondants. That's only for farming materials, so I think it should be fine. You needed money to fix the kitchen? I don't know what that's answering. What? I don't know what that's related to. Needed money to fix the kitchen. Are you talking about in the game? Or... <laughs> I'm getting confused now. Are you talking about real life? <laughs> Glass, onion, the sequel to Knives. I don't know either of those. I haven't been to the cinema really for a really long time. I, I remember taking my son when he was very little, but I haven't really done much since then. You couldn't cook in game. Oh, so that's why you kept dying. Okay, so there are lots of things you can do at the start. Um, the demo is very slightly different from the... Um, they did change things in the like the released version. So there's quite a few things that are different. So if you are going to get the new version, I recommend starting from the beginning again. Um, but yeah, just play the demo. So you can get... Uh, 
I would recommend doing lots of side quests. That's the best thing to do early game because you get lots of gill, you get um, sometimes you get food, things like that. You can eat pretty much anything as well. Um, like any stuff that you get from the monsters, you can eat like all the stuff that you gather. So it's good to like spend a lot of time gathering everything you can. Really like search your farm because there's quite a few gathering points on your farm and mining points. Don't you only get 15 days? You do only get 15 days. Yeah. That's true. But I mean, I don't know. If you like the game enough, I guess you're going to buy it anyway, right, Night Archer? <laughs> it's a really good movie. A detective thriller. Strongly recommended. Okay, I might have to look into that. Yeah, you go lurk because you don't want to get any spoilers. I'm not going to be continuing the story, but I am going to be going to areas to farm um for materials for upgrades which you won't have seen yet so yeah it's going to be very spoilerish so i would definitely uh not look <laughs> but thanks again for the raid and i will see you again soon right i think we've got enough with food for this because we're not really doing anything too bye bye challenging you already bought persona 5 and pokemon violet okay you've been spending all your money right <laughs> on games Night Archer, did you ever finish Crystal Chronicles? Because you promised you would play that with me. <laughs> right, I think we're going... Uh, yeah, we're going to the Helix Research Facility. Let's go there. We need uh, hard siltstone. That's what we're after. We need lots of it. I think I need 4, 8, 12. I need at least 12 to upgrade weapons. Um, I need to eat first. Let's go for... I don't know. Oh, let's have one of these. It's pretty nice. You did play it, you didn't finish it. You were grinding the same place for some reason, you can't remember. Oh, okay. Perhaps you needed like, accessories or something? Or um, like the little... Um, you get like different drops, don't you, from each dungeon that you keep. You're probably grinding for those. Yeah, it's always much easier when you've got a group though of that game. That was a walk in the park. Get through it, you get through the dungeons much quicker. Right, where do I need to go for Okay, it's back this way. The mining point. Oh, these sometimes drop by and get the leaves. Well then, sometimes. shall we begin? So, oh yeah, we unlocked the new, the like my last, the last job. We got samurai now. I love her samurai outfit. Really cute. So this is like meant to be the best job in the game. Super OP once you finish um, unlocking all of the. Uh, Actions for it. Mytho! How are you doing? I hope you're good. You've had a good weekend. Let's get this over with. Are you still uh are you still away? Because I know you were travelling. I don't know how long you were away for. Or are you home now? Have I finished all the other jobs? If you mean, have I finished? If you mean, have I unlocked all of their abilities? No. You slept the next day. I bet you did. You must have been exhausted. Um, I'm doing quite well with the jobs though. They're mostly finished. Let's have a look. We've got some points to spend on Samurai. So I got about like around a halfway of unlocking everything for Samurai. So, yeah, there's still quite a few I need to level, though. Um, let's go through them all, shall we? So we've got... The first job you get is Fighter. So I kind of stopped playing that once I unlocked the new jobs. I got very much into the Shadow... Shadow... I forget what it's called. The Ninja Job. <laughs> shadow Walker, I think it is. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I still need to finish off uh, this job. It's got a few more to unlock. I mean, I've unlocked all of the extra panels because you have to increase your friendship with your friends to unlock the extra panels so yeah for the um pilgrim i still need to finish that shadow walker is maxed out 
This was my favourite job at the time. I really love that. That's all maxed out. Uh, Skylancer is uh, has a few more panels to um, fill in. Lunamancer, that's maxed out. It's a nice job if you want to play ranged. It's kind of slow, but it does do a lot of damage. Um, Kanik is also maxed out. I actually didn't like that at the beginning, but I got more into it as I was unlocking the other extra abilities. It was quite actually quite fun. Uh, the Woglind, I still need to finish that. I haven't played on that much. It's I'm not that keen on. It's very slow. It's a very slow, calm job. So if you like something like that, it's it's a caster, and it's more of a support job. Uh, I think later on you unlock some kind of healing ability, but I haven't got that far with it yet. So I might enjoy it more once I unlock that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the Avenger. And yeah, I still need to finish off this. So yeah, there's a lot of the jobs I still need to finish. The Assault Savant, that's the Arya's job. I've got a couple more left to unlock on that one. Mage, I'm completely finished. And Aristotle, which is one of the secret jobs. This one I still need to finish. There's quite a lot. I've only just got this job recently, so I've got quite a lot to unlock on that. That's basically a summoner. Yeah, and then we're back to Samurai, which is um, the one I unlocked yesterday. The omen you meet in the dark armour, is she a Lunamancer? In the demo, the one that joins your party, if you're talking about Dianthus, yes, she is a Lunamancer. So you do get her job eventually. Yeah, if you, if you need help, just, you know, hop on Discord and... Oh, this is going to make me drop through. Where do I need to go to get... To get the next... Uh, okay, there's one across there, but this is going to make me fall down, so... It's not helpful. I guess maybe I have to fall down and come back up again. I don't know. I, this place is like a maze. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got two hard still stone, and I need. What did I say? I needed twelve. Yeah. Oh, this job is so good. I haven't even unlocked everything yet, and I'm loving it. You got D and D today. At five till eight or nine. Oh, okay. Do you play in like in real life or do you play online? Because I've always wanted. There's always something I've always wanted to play, but I've never known anyone plays it. I have one friend um, I play Final Fantasy fourteen with on Discord, and he said he would be up playing, but obviously need more than just one <laughs> one other person. But this would be um, online, as uh, yeah, most people that I know that are into that kind of thing are all from the US. You play in person with your mates. Oh, that's so nice. Right, I don't know where I'm going. Just going to keep running around and hopefully find what I need. Where am I now? Okay, this doesn't look good. This looks like a dead end. actually fall off there. Most places you can't fall off. I'm going to go in the lift because I think I've pretty much cleared out these floors. Let's go. Let's go to the upper layer. If I create a DD and d group, you'll join? Okay, it will be a Discord one, obviously, for you know obvious reasons because we don't live near each other. Um, it might be fair. I don't know. It would either be at the weekend. Um, yeah, I think it would have to be at the weekend because most people that I, I know that are interested are from the US, so for them, you know, it's going to be really early. For us, it'll be late. 
if that makes sense. So the weekend is probably going to be the only time we fit that in. Oh, also, we've got a watch party. We've been watching... I don't know if you've ever watched Misfits. We've been watching that on Discord. You're welcome to join for that. I mean, we were just about to start Season 2. So if you have um, Prime, you can catch up the first season. You can join us for that. It's on uh, Saturday nights. Oh, I need to eat my food. You're very welcome to join for that. The UK, yeah, the UK misfits. I don't know. I've heard really bad things about the US misfits, misfits, so I don't know what it's like. I've never seen it, but um, yeah, it's the UK one. <laughs> yeah. Do we watched the, the first season over the last few weeks, and we're ready to start season two. Um, so it'll be on Saturday. There's like, um, if you go onto Discord, there's um, under the general tab, there's a. I made a new channel for um, just like community events. And you can like sign up there. I mean, you don't have to sign up, but it just gives you all the information about what time it's starting and everything like that, and who's going to be like, who's watching, who's coming along. I've come back here. This is not where I need to be, right? Player? Didn't I? Do? I've just been here though. I'm oh, gonna. This map is just really awful. Uh, I've already... Maybe I need to go back to the lower layer. I don't know. Maybe I've got all the mining points. Yeah, I mean, most of the events that we do, they're under, like, the Final Fantasy XIV panel, and they're for people who play Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but I just thought it'd be nice to, like, have some other stuff going on that people who don't play can join in with. So I might I might do, like, um, Jackbots night, Jack, Jackbox party nights, things like that. Just uh, something a bit different to do. If people are interested, of course. Sometimes it's going to be difficult getting everyone, you know, to be free at the same time. Okay, let's keep going up. Hopefully there's still some mining points or monsters left somewhere. <laughs> Where are they all? Maybe we'll have to come back tomorrow. Because this is just going to drop me down again. Oh, yeah, it's with me. Hold on one second. Okay, right, I guess I don't know how to get to carry on without actually falling down here, so I think it just gets us to this area here. I guess if you're playing D&D, &D, the main thing is to find someone, that like, find a really good dungeon master, right? I think that's gonna, like... You know, whether you're gonna get, like, a good atmosphere and everything like that is all down, down to the dungeon master, right? Uh, I'm not finding any more monsters, so I might, like, completely clear this area out. Okay, here we go. 
So this, this mob type does drop my need. Sometimes. Shall we begin? We definitely need to do more cooking. Get more food. Here I go. Love this job. So good. Harvesting point that I'm mining. I've got some pineapple seeds now, that's nice. Let's put it this way. Oh, I keep forgetting to make repair kits. Repair kits. I keep coming here to um, farm materials and there's one place that needs to be fixed that I haven't. <laughs> Damn it, it's sleepy already. I keep forgetting to bring the right materials with me. Still not what we actually shit. <laughs> I saw that just at the last minute and didn't move quick enough. <laughs> It's really bad. There we go. Well then, shall we begin? Heavy play. Oh, I didn't get more than I Well, my three favourite jobs. I like ninja. I not like this one. Shit. I think we can handle. Yeah, not without understanding. And. Really, it'll take a long time and uh, it's late. <laughs> and I just need materials, so this maybe, if we're lucky, this might drop. Yeah. 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 Okay, we better leave. Uh, yeah, so I really like the ninja, which is the new job. I like the... not the ninja, the samurai. Um, I like the shadow walker, which is like the ninja job. That's really fun. Um, three favourites. What's my other favourite? Maybe the lancer. I quite like the sky lancer. I don't know, actually. I think I haven't played all of the jobs enough yet. I mean, I... I think it depends what I'm doing, I guess. I like I like the mage job because it's nice sometimes to be able to stand back and just nuke the shit out of everything. <laughs> Wait, hopefully I can make some more of those chocolate puddings because uh, they're pretty good. Where are they? We have an apple pie, what does this do? Stamina, floor damage guard. Ooh. Where is this chocolate pudding gone?
Oh, here we go. Melting chocolate fondant. This is one I like this. I like the HP regen it gives. It's nice for just running around doing random stuff. Don't have uh, any of those though. need to find something that I have loads of ingredients that I can just make a ton of. Not anything with meat in it because meat is pretty rare in this game. Really, I just want something with vegetable. <laughs> I've got loads of those. Oh, come on. Find something. Okay, this looks pretty good. I've got loads of all of these ingredients. Tomato and eggplant cheese bake. Stamina critical rate up. That's what that'll, that'll do for just like a general all-purpose food, right? Make loads of these. Oh, that might take some time actually. <laughs> okay. Do these stack? I hope they do. Feel sleepy? What? That took the whole day? I didn't even get to look after my animals. Are you kidding me? Just grab all of this. Backpack's full. Okay, that's not good. Let's empty it out first. Should have enough time to look after the animals. That's the problem. The crafting takes so much time. I wish the crafting didn't take like, game time. It's it's a bit annoying. Uh, what am I shipping? Probably not any of those. Okay, let's store all of this. Promise sapling. Okay, let's just keep a couple of stacks of these. That should be good. Time flies when you're crafting. Yeah, you're telling me. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous. Um, can I do that later? I'm sure it looks lovely. Oh, okay. I'll come and check when you're ready just before you go to daddy's, alright? drops the monolite fragments we need those for making the vows. Okay, and also we must give Luth daily head pats, right? <laughs> because I don't know how you get his gold trophy, but I need it. I don't have it. <laughs> So this is something you have um, up here. You get like, like a little trophy room. And uh, so I got this one is for the animals. So it's silver and floofs the mount is silver. I don't know how to increase them to gold because the animals are all like, all their hearts are full. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you get the gold. And I'm guessing the fairies, once you finish all of the fairy orders, you'll get gold. I got gold from the, the fish Sahagin, because I caught all his fish for him. This is bronze. I think this is something to do with either the bestiary or the fear monsters. Oh, I need to go to sleep. And then you get this one for completing all of your side quests. A little trophy of the mare. So yeah, I'm a, kind of a bit of a, a loss as to how to get the gold versions of the animals on the mount. Okay, I hope that you can actually get something done today, right? <laughs> Spent the whole day crafting. 
which took literally like two minutes. Not even that. Oh, it's raining again. We still haven't got a letter from Ari. I've been waiting for like days. I'm thinking I might have to actually continue with the main story before I get another letter from her. Because it's been a really long time. when they're indoors because of the rain which i feel like it's a bit of a con <laughs> oh, on stream raiders like you know what i completely forgot i set up stream raiders today okay six units were placed on the battlefield are you all right what are you looking for but they're kind of under there you'll have to wait until another day and we'll get them out you can't do that now and it's time to go to daddy's as well. You need to go. All right. Okay. Well, my son's just uh, been busy for the last two hours putting up the Christmas tree. It's taken him this long to um, untangle the lights. <laughs> he wants to decorate it now, but he has to actually go. So he can't do it today. He'll have to finish it tomorrow. Uh, it's not even December yet and he's putting the, the tree up. I don't know. Right. The stream Raiders have got distracted. Yeah. I completely forgot about Stream Raiders. Uh, yeah, but we don't have too many units, so I don't know how this is going to go. Probably really badly. Right, let's try that again and maybe I'll try it a legendary unit and see if that makes any difference. But we hopefully we'll get some more people in. Let's see what can I use. Oh hey, we well, can use the Primal War Beast. Let's put him out there. Okay, back to Harvester. Okay, we've got job points we can allocate. And Grim as well. Put this one. Oh, hold on, wrong button. Enhance the skill, which is the one, which is the healing ability. Have I already unlocked it? Oh no, this is Pilgrim, this is not Wigeland. I'm getting mixed up with the jobs. Yeah, okay, we're good there. Okay, so... We've got a few things we need to harvest on the farm. Looks like, in fact, quite a few things. Hello, little like crappies! <laughs> How do you upgrade your weapons? Uh, so there's a blacksmith in town, and um, I'll go visit the blacksmith. Hello, little and she will tell you what you need to upgrade each of the um, your friend's weapons and your weapon. Hello, so I'll little head down before we go back out again because I should have enough material to do an upgrade. And then you can see. Hello, little crappies. So they start off, the upgrades are like, don't cost very much gear at all, crappies. but as you level them up, they do cost more and more. And uh, you need different crappies. materials each time to get an upgrade. Hello, little crappies. 
There's a statue to upgrade your weapons to max. <clears throat> oh, so that's what it's for. Because I've seen the statue, and it's a statue of like a katana. So I thought maybe you got that once you unlocked all of the jobs. But I'm guessing that's what it's for then, because I didn't get it when I unlocked Samurai. So I, I, I guess, well, it's going to have to be for something different then if I didn't get it from unlocking all the jobs. Okay, so that's for upgrading all of your weapons then. I'm not too far away. I think um, once I start my next chapter, I will start getting materials for the next final upgrade, I think. Looks like some of the crops are ready for harvest. I'm missing ingredients. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Okay. Oh, Mr. Yunyaki over here. Let's uh let's ship off some of these. Um what are you shipping? Let's get rid of these. And these. Keep all the high quality stuff. And stuff we don't have much of. Uh do I need to plant more seeds? Yes, can I be bothered? I'm not sure. <laughs> What have I got? If I've got stuff already, if I've got to go shopping, then I don't think I can be bothered. I think we can plant these. Put grass and drop. Yeah, let's just go for those. Sloppy! Yeah, you get the mare when you complete all the side quests. Appear. So you don't get like a silver or bronze version of him, you just go, just go straight to the gold. Hey Salty, how you doing? That. Oh, that didn't quite go the way I planned. Thanks for the look, Salty. Come unfurrowed. Bam! There you go. Hi -ya! Did this. Right, we've still got a few more seeds left. I do really want to make this farm look, look really pretty and have like little it's fences everywhere and little separate plots for everything, but I, it's just like such a chore. <laughs> Means I've got to knock down like all the trees, but I want to have like a like different separate areas for all the trees. Means I've got to knock down all the trees, plant new seeds for the trees, move all of the machinery. Hiya. And also like the like, I don't know, try and figure out where I want everything is going to fly in my brain. Yes. Done here with the vegetables. Good work today. Hiya. Okay, that. that will do. Okay, let's stash a bit we don't need. Right, okay, I think we're good. So let's go to the blacksmith. We'll Get uh, whatever weapons we can upgraded. Bye and then bye. We have to go back again to get 
the materials. It's taking it's taking a long time. This one area doesn't seem to be good for farming. I wonder if I went to the next area, maybe I would be able to get them there as well. Maybe if I just start the next um, next chapter. It might, I might be better off doing that, actually. Because some of the materials do seem to carry over onto the next chapter and you can get them in the Hello there. Areas. But the game doesn't like to tell you this. Okay, we can't, we can't get anything. Sadly. So I'm guessing that level 10 is going to be the max level for weapons. Whether it is or not, I don't know. But I'm just going on... There's only one chapter left in the game. And I'm guessing that's where the... The next lot of materials are going to come from. I mean, I could be wrong. There could be other areas like end game things that unlock and you could get high weapons in this. I, I don't actually know. Uh, but yeah, I need this um, hard siltstone for quite a few of these weapons. I think I'm just going to continue on with the main story and just see if we can get this in, in the new area. Cheers. Yeah, it's been a bit slow going trying to get it from there. Okay, let's have a look then. So, main scenario. Epilogue, the story of your world. The team is through the worst of it after the dismissal of Geist's Paradise Project and the fall of the proto light. Now they search for a means of putting an end to Quietus once and for all. And thus the story of your world begins. Go to the Castle of Illusion and listen to Dianthus. Okay, let's go do that, shall we? Whereabouts is she going to be? No clue. Multiple cradles, space elevator. Banthus, where are you? <laughs> I have no idea. Just let's go to the castle of illusion. illusion. Oh, let's just land. Maybe it's just uh, here. Hmm. Let's just zone through here and see if we can see the quest symbol. Okay, there we go. That's easy enough. Oh, once. Oh, Lullaby, you're here. I think that's everyone then. Did I create repair kits? I have three level two repair kits, so I think I should be okay now. I did get, keep forgetting to make those. Oh, also guys, I've started a new community challenge, so you can um, donate towards that with your chocolate bright feathers. It's for the... One of the things that didn't get voted for for the um, the special stream, so it's like uh, I wanted to call it Filthy Dirty Platinums, but you know what Twitch would not allow me to. It said it was just too rude. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to call it Filthy Dirty Platinums. <laughs> so it's just Dirty Platinums. <laughs> Thank you so much, Night Archer, for your contribution. Yeah, so once, um, once we reach our goal, I will be playing through some of the worst games imaginable. And we'll see how many Platinums we can get on one stream. The last time I did this... Oh, thank you, Salty. Your chocolate my feathers. The last time we did this, I think I did five Platinums in one stream in just like two or three hours. So yeah, we'll be doing that again. Okay, on with the story. Okay, so what's this clue to the Quietus you think you might have found? While we do not know if it will be useful, there may be information in Geist's chamber that we can use. Geist's chamber, you say? When you say Geist, you mean the one who tried to destroy the world? That Geist? The one and the same. Why on 
earth would he of all beings have any clue about how to end quietus? He was the one who proposed the heaven shell, correct? Ah, no. I do not mean Geist's new persona. Geist's former persona? You still have that? Affirmative. His former persona? That makes sense. There must be something that ver that version of Geist knows. He gave us the coordinates to Lost Gaia after all. Originally, Geist was part of a cloud whose goal was to quell Quietus. I was also a member. But one day, Geist disconnected from the collective and began concealing information. What, just like you did, Dianthus? And you think there may be something we can use in the information he squirrelled away? And why don't we start looking here from the beginning? If it were that easy, then we would have, obviously. But the room's sealed tight with a strict lock mechanism. We've never been able to open it. This morning, some of the locks dropped off, probably an effect of the proto falling. Anyway, we should be able to open it now. So, we can finally enter. Nivalis, thank you. Have our thanks. Just doing what I should. Let's get in there and start looking around. So this is where Geist once called home. Welcome. What are you? An enemy? No, I harbour no malice nor any desire to harm you. I am a miniature support device created by Geist's former persona, Geist MK2. Geist MK2? Correct. However, I am merely a programme made to ensure the work he left behind is accomplished. Think of me as a last will and testament. That's an interesting idea. So, what work did Geist leave behind exactly? He writes me to... Are you going to Daddy's? You're going to wait for me? Well, you know, you probably should actually get dressed. Maybe that might be useful. I don't think you can be walking the streets dressed like that. <laughs> okay, ten minutes. Get dressed and I'll be there in ten minutes. Right? Surely you know already. The eradication... The eradicate... Ugh, I can't speak now. <laughs> the eradication of quietus. The locks on the doors here were programmed to open in the event that you reject the heaven shell. Ah, oh, so that's why... Wait, can we slow down a second? You mean to say that the past Geist even knew about the Heaven Shell? That is correct. Geist predicted that the project would be carried out by his re restored persona. The scientist girl there, Aria, her presence could have been the final piece needed. At any rate, you rejected the Heaven Shell and have earned the right to enter this room. I see. So, MK2, how much do you know about Quietus? Good question. Let us go over what we know. Quietus is a phenomenon that disperses Gaia dust into the atmosphere at the turning point of the seasons. The origin of the Gaia dust is, as you have already surmised, the seas light themselves. That's right. The Seas Light are clones of the Astrum cell found within the Red Queen. So it's natural to consider the Seas Light as the origin much in the same way that the Red Queen was. And anything caught up by the Seas Light turned strange? 
Naturally, we, Seth, are able to accumulate regular research into the sea's light. I believe Dianthus will know a lot about that. Correct. However, none of our research was able to detect an anomaly. That's right. Even during quietest, the seas light were normal, at least via the system we had built. As a matter of fact, we have still not found a reason for their peculiar glow during quietest. But didn't you make the seas light? As much as I hate to admit it. That is correct. They were originally device devices for planting Astrum cell clones. But as we do not know everything about Astrum cells, facets of the Seas Light operation are still a mystery to us. Exactly. At any rate, not being able to find any anomaly is what brought the Seth's research into Quietus to a halt. But not for Geist. What did you say? What follows is concealed information that even Dianthus does not know. Geist discovered a phenomenon where the Astrum cell would act as though naturalised when on Lost Gaia. Naturalised? There's some in the drawer in the sideboard. Correct. To put it simply, it gradually displayed power to revert this planet, Regaia, into the Lost Gaia it was before. The transformation was small at first, but substances from Lost Gaia began to reappear to appear on Regaia. Okay, that's interesting. They accompanied any energization of the sea's light and seemed to have some correlation with Quietus. Hold on a moment. So, like, with the Heaven's Egg? Not just the Heaven's Egg, several other structures appeared. Here's the philosophical flame of... Uh, flame and automata, too. <clears throat> that is correct. They, too, are part of this naturalisation phenomenon. Guys called it the Planetary Nightmare. Planetary Nightmare? And so, for the sake of the investigation, he decided to go further energise the sea's light. Correct. But Geist did not know the Astrum cell would cause substances from Los Gaia to appear. The Astrum cell implanted by the sea's light may be a clone, but it is not Los Gaia. They have no physical relationship. That is true. That is what brought Geist's inve investigation to a standstill. However, he was able to develop a hypothesis. What if the Astrum cell was linked to a non-physical space? Something shared akin to a planet's memory. A non-physical space? But that... It was the only way to explain the phenomenon that was occurring. Okay, so is this something to do with them, like the memory angel person? Let's call it planetary storage. There must be a, a place where the memories of the planet are kept. And the age themselves have a connection that passes through that non-physical space. Surely the cause of the quietus is hidden somewhere in there. If that were the case, then it would be impossible for the Seth to analyse given their physical circuitry. Geist had come to terms with that fact. And so he began to break down and commit violence, you mean? He began to obsess over human evolution because he could feel his own artificial limitations. But if such truth flowed into the collective consciousness, it would pollute the logic centres of the Seth. And so he severed his link. Correct. He concealed his research reports until such a time that would be able to reach them. The planet's memory centre. Finding it all a bit hard to believe. Hmm, I can't say for sure. 
What happens as a phenomenon can one day be made clear by humans? It's what I pride myself on as a scientist, but this time, I'm not sure. What do you think? I don't have a clue. So it's like the planet's soul? Reading simulator time. Exactly, Mytho. Do you want to take over? <laughs> That's such a guy in interpretation to see the planet as a life form. However, none of us were able to detect nor control the proto's fall. Given we do not understand everything about the sea's light, how can we say anything is impossible? It is merely a hypothesis after all. It does not need to be believed yet. But if you want to search the planet's memory center, then I can give you access to Geist's energization program. The program should stir a reaction from the sea's light, correct? We will need it if that is what it takes to operate the door to the planet's memory center. Then I will share the program with you, Dianthus. You received Geist's program. Geist was unable to learn the secrets behind the Quietus. There is no way to confirm that you will be able to, either. Lullaby. In that final moment, the Geist you defeated wagered his entire being on the future you would choose. The chances of you refusing a logical end, the Heaven Shell, were predicted to be extremely low. That is why Geist wagered on that future. And you came here fighting against logic to do something extraordinary. But that logic irrationality is what makes humanity what it is. The unique ability to dream, to expand the realm of possibility in the duty of an intelligent life form. So please, retain your humanity until the very end. Love reading like a robot. Love trying to read like a robot. Right, I'm just going to um <laughs> what do you mean? are we not entertained? <laughs> um I'm going to just take a very very short break. I'm going to go and uh, my son wants me to go and have a look at the Christmas tree. Um so I will be back very very shortly. I'll just be a couple of minutes. Okay, right, where were we? 
in the middle of a huge monologue dialogue. This is the final will of the Geist persona. It has opened a path for us. We're going to use that program, right? Geist left it for us. It feels like such a dangerous thing to use. Well, he was trying to shatter the planet. I don't think that should be a worry. The program he used for that was the ap apoptosis program. Although it could still be risky. In what way? If we energise the sea's light, then we might end up causing quiet as early. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Well, oh, actually, no, 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 that's good. Can we do that? Because then we can um, go to the Keranoid. <laughs> Is that right, Dianthus? I would say so. While it was short, quietus did occur when Geist energised the sea's light. Oh no. I see. We do not want to be too quick to rouse them then, do we? Isn't there anything we can do about it? Not unless there's some way we can stop the dispersal of Gaia dust. Fairies make a barrier? They did that before, but they said that it'd be too big. Right? No, there's no way we can ask them to create one large enough. They'd die from exhaustion. A barrier isn't a bad idea, though. We can use the quietest barrier. What? What quietest barrier? I thought that was, like, no good. I see what you're saying. Is there a portion of the heaven shell we could borrow? be. If we could temporarily cover the continent with the quietest barrier, then we could use that chance to... You know what? It's not impossible. Hmm. An interesting idea. We should speak to Geist immediately. He must be at the unoccupied throne now. Rana, I assume. Your donation, my Archer. <laughs> Here though. I don't do anything in here. I know, I waited all this time for it to be like unlocked and there's like nothing we can do in here. Okay, where are we going? Meet Geist at the unoccupied throne in the Castle of Illusion. I don't know where that is. Unoccupied throne? What floor is that? Oh, Street Raiders again already? Five units, that's not very many. Pretty sure we had more last time. We had more and we failed. Got an even an even tougher one now, I think. Got a special boss here. Guess we'd better pull out another legendary. Let's have a look. Let's go. Let's go for this guy. Let's put him here. It's about quality, not quantity. So they say, Night Archer, so they say. Right. still have no clue where we have to find um, this throne room. Where is this? Okay, level 2, level 1. I have absolutely no clue. <laughs> I have no clue where I need to go now. 
thank you so much for the follow, Purple Wayne. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling here. I don't know. This always happens <laughs> on my streams. Be sure you want to follow. Right. Meet Geist at the unoccupied throne room in the Castle of Illusion. Well, we're in the Castle of Illusion. I do not see this unoccupied throne room on the map. I do not see any markers on the map. I guess we're just going to have to go to a... Find a monolite and... Travel through the floors and see if we can find where we need to be. Let's go back out here. We're doing good. You just found my... Oh, in Stream Raiders. Oh, well, thank you for helping out with the Stream Raiders. We've not been doing so well today. Oh, I need to eat something. Where are we? Let's have... Let's have one of these. Get some stamina back. There we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Look. Path to the throne. Throne. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe, maybe we should just walk to the throne, right? <laughs> maybe that's where we need to be. There we go. He should be here. Huge cuts and I'm gonna have to like voice <laughs> lullaby. How is your plan to the end to end quiet as going? Are uh, we have an idea actually? You do, do you? <laughs> that was faster than I expected. Which is why we are here, guys. We want your help. Hmm. So what do you need from me now? You want to use the quietest barrier system you were going to use for your paradise project. What? And here I thought you had no interest in the heaven shell. Changed your minds, have you? Not exactly. We just want to borrow it. What do you mean by that? Explain the situation to Geist. Oh! You want to use the quietest barrier so you can energise the sea's light? A very interesting proposal. I won't refuse to help you, although there is one problem. Don't tell me. It'll wither away the area outside the barrier. No, even for a short time, that shouldn't be an issue. The problem is energy. An entire continent is far larger than the heaven's shell was intended to cover. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it will require an exterior energy source to work. An exterior energy source? Could we not use the residual energy from the Proto? Oh, now there's an idea. The Proto Seas Light might have enough reserve energy. Hmm, you may be right. If you divert the residual energy from the fallen proto to the castle of illusion. Well, that's the ticket. Seems like we're already well on our way. If memory serves, the proto fell into the northern sea. We should rally the airship post haste. Okay, where are we going now? Back to the airship? I guess. Take the airship to the Proto Seas Light Landing. Okay, well, let's just use a bell to get out. Okay, that's probably the quickest way to get to the airship. Also, what time is it? Oh, it's only 2 p.m. We've got time. Feels like it should have been a lot longer than that. I guess we've been mostly in cutscenes, so. Take it easy. Oh, yeah, should the proto. Oh, it's over here, right? This is the new area that just appeared. We've been here yet.
Is this the proto sees light? Nice purple Wayne. Thank you for the epic luminous nova. New luminous nova archer. Awesome. It's really something. I wonder if it still has power. Let us go and find out. While not perfect, it seems it still seems to be operational. We should be able to send any residual energy to the Castle of Illusion. That's great. We should go and tell Geis right away. Okay, so we're going back to the Castle of Illusion, I guess. The Luminous Nova does flow arts, a beautiful form of dancing with props. I actually don't really know much about streamers. I play it because like people like to join in with it, but um, I don't really know that much about it. I don't ever play as um, like when I'm watching other people's streams. Uh, where am I going from? Here, uh, back here. I guess that's where he is. There we go. It looks as though the energy from the proto has made it here without issue. Simulations show that we can create a large enough quietus barrier for a short period of time. Thank goodness. In which case, I, I will time the operation of the barrier for the precise moment you need it. When the time comes, you will have the full power of the Seth behind you. That works for me. Thank you for helping us, Geist. Gratitude is unnecessary. It was your parents who created the Quietus Barrier, remember? It is a human invention. It is yours to do with as you please. A human in real life, not stream raiders. Okay. <laughs> that just shows how, how much I, how clueless I am. I've never heard of a, a luminous nova. Nonetheless, thank you. You are baffling. But that is the human way. We have fought for the last 2,000 years for the sake of humanity. We are well aware of your incomprehensibility. Which is why I do not mind this back and forth from time to time. Not to mention the sense of nostalgia it gives me. Lullaby. Now that you have rejected my project, you must follow the path you believe in. Show me what humans dream. Do what you must and you will have our support to its fullest extent. For an artificial intelligence such as ours, which surpasses that of humanity, it is our raison d'etre. Detra, how do you, I don't know how you pronounce that. Detra? I don't know. He certainly has a flair for the dramatic, doesn't he? Conditions are optimal. All that is left is to initiate the energization program. I have made it so that we can operate it from the airship. Let us meet on the bridge when you are ready. Okay, so back to the airship then. I think I need to make some more of these bells.
beginning of this, uh, beginning of this chapter is um, it's taking a really long time to get through all of the cutscenes. Bye bye. Cut I want to get on to the actual uh, dungeon part of it. So we can get the materials for the upgrades. Okay, well, can I talk to? We've actually got, got to go on the talk to Dianthus on the airship bridge. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go inside then. Everybody's here this time. Is she up here? Oh, look, he's finds um flying the airship. Are you ready to energize the sea's light? Yes, let's go. Let's just hope we don't blow up the world, right? Very well. Hein, connect me to the castle of illusion. Got it. Dianthus, Geist is telling us to repair the quietest barrier. Make no mistake, the full power of the Seth are behind you. Just say the word. Understood. But before we begin, I would like to address the Castle of Illusion. Can you connect me? Sure. Calling all Seth of the Castle of Illusion. This is your comrade, Dianthus. First, I want to thank you for your assistance in this endeavour. We are about to resume the energization experiment Geist's former persona left unfinished. In hindsight, I see Geist was alone pondering the future of this planet, and it plagued him. The resulting apoptosis he plan planned could have shaken the very meaning of our existence. In the light of humanity's history, he embraced a dream that was out of his reach, and it ruined him. Geist reflected on this and marched forward with the next best thing, the Heaven Shell Project. Lullaby refused that proposal. We still do not know if that was the right decision. Logically, it is easy to think it was the wrong one. But to protect all of humanity, that is our dream, make no mistake. This is an experiment to help realize the dream of every intelligent being living on this planet. I am counting on that dream. with dreams for the eradication of quietus for our 2,000 year long vow to save humanity and to reclaim that once shining star let it be etched into history that we are humanity's greatest neighbor for a future where we can work together such a moving speech now I'm nervous. Airship has reached tactical altitude already when you are. Got it. Geist, do you copy? We're beginning the experiment. Start the quietest barrier. Understood. active. This should keep us safe from the Gaia dust. All that's left is to start the energization for ener energization program. Lullaby, awaiting your orders. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us and still, still it came to this. Perfect time. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. <laughs> that was awesome timing with that sound alert, my archer. Thank you. Let's do this. 
Understood. Energizing program engaged. The Lost Gaia Naturalization Phenomenon, MK2 called it the Planetary Nightmare. It looks like there's an opening in that pillar of light. What about the concentration of the Gaia dust inside? The interior is safe to enter. Give the word and we will enter with the airship. We're going in. Square and X do love their crystals. Oh, we've got like floor floor damage in this area. It might be a good idea to actually get some food that reduces floor damage. Stellar Nursery. This is what's inside the pillar of light. Is this crystal a monolite? There seems something mysterious about it. It's lost Gaia's technology, but there's no location like this in our database. I don't recognize it either. This is the Stellar Nursery, where stars are born. Who is this? Is it finally going to be the angel figure? It is! It's you! Where the hell were you hiding? Are you a friend of lullabies? Something like that. You said stars are born here. What did you mean? Was this facility used to clone the seas like Aestrom cell? No, if it were, then we would recognise it. All oh, right. Lullaby, I want you to know what happened here. And I want you to save her. Save who? Please proceed. The source of what you call quietus is up ahead as well. It is? So she said save her. Is the cause of quietus a person? The cause of quietus, hmm? Well, we can't just ignore that now, can we? Okay, let's grab the um, one light. Oh, it's already, uh, okay. Alright, I just need to be right back one minute because my son is still here and he needs to go to his dad's before it gets dark, otherwise I will have to take him myself. So I will be right back.
Okay. Right, where were we? Oh, you reckon the you reckon it's a clone? Right, dungeon time. I'm guessing these monsters here are gonna be like uber painful. <laughs> We need to be up top to repair that. We've got a return bell, okay. I don't ever remember getting those in chests before. This one's just going to be really complicated, I can just sense it. It's got like water spouts, it's got wind things. My brain's fried already. You guys know I can't cope with complicated. Here I go. Oh, and ice as well. Yeah. Sliding all over the place. This job so much. Stella Wheat Philosophy Core. Okay, what have we got here? A lot of nice tears. Main character's sword reminds you of lightning. Lightning in um, Final Fantasy? Do you mean Final Fantasy's lightning? Because I never played 13. Or do you just mean actual lightning? Sacred Lumber. Oh, okay, this is gonna hurt. Let's stand here. Fine. Here I go. Oh my goodness, seriously, I love this job. Okay, so guessing we need to go over to the next wind turbine. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, I've not played that, so I don't really know in that much about um, lightning. I think I need to go this way. Please don't fall before I get there. Okay. Calcum. I run that quiz. Oh, if we can fix this ladder now. I'm pretty sure I only need to repair two ladders to um oh no! Time to go home and sleep already? Two ladders to finish off the one thing on the fairy orders. What's this? Mushrooms are growing in this area. Their caps emit a bluish white light, probably an effect of the crystals. They don't look edible at all, but we're still gonna eat them, right? Yes. Despite its appearance, for some reason, you anticipate a rich flavour and are painfully disappointed. <laughs> this thing is disgusting. 
Yep, turns out these mushrooms are as inevitable as they look. Your health decreased a lot. Okay, thanks. As if your luck couldn't get any worse. A monster appeared while you were taste testing the mushrooms. The monster leaps straight at you. You realise that it may be best to flee. Oh shit, that really did do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's get this over with. So the fear is Amber, but this one looks strong. judging by the fear in the previous dungeon, we couldn't kill those, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to see what it. Ah, damn it, I woke up. <laughs> we are going to have to go back very soon, though. Okay, this is going to make me slide all over the poisonous floor, though. Thank you! Here I go. Okay, I think we're better. Here I go. Samurai in this. We can draw them in. Let's keep it moving. Here we go. I appreciate it. Okay, it's time to go back. Or we're going to lose half a day. Okay, but at least we uh, we are not going to a new dungeon. Probably, I think this is the final dungeon in the game. Oh, and it's time for stream raiders again. Oh, 46 units, nice. I guess they've been appetizing stream. Right, let's go and do the stream raiders. And off we go. Good job, guys. Okay, where are we next? We're almost at the end of this map, actually. Okay, let's go with this guy here. Okay, the end of another day in Harvestella. Let me just check the fairy order, because so there's definitely one about fixing ladders. Fix 20 ladders. Okay, yeah, we need to fix one more ladder to um, get that one ticked off. Actually, do I need more? I need more food. I think we're good. We've got a lot of drinks. We've got yeah, we've no, got plenty of food. I think we should be good. Let's just drop off these things we picked up the dungeon. That's for shipping. Oh, we got a letter. Finally, we got a letter. I bet that's from Arya. Um, first of all, let's take care of the animals. Please give me my gold trophy because I don't know how to, how to get it. 
Actually, Night Archer, while you were looking up the trophies, did you manage to find out how you get the gold one for these guys? And the mount? Harvesting, apart from just the few bushes, I think everything else is still in the middle of growing. Actually, we need to check the other biomes. I haven't, I haven't done that yet since I <laughs> logged on today. Oh, actually, we've got corn to harvest. Okay. Hello, little crappies. Oh, actually. Hello, little crappies. Crappies. You thought it was to get their heart meter up. Their hearts are all full with all of the animals. Hello, so little crappies. That's not it. Uh, let's have a little look. So here are. <laughs> this is a uh, guess. Who named this this chicken? My archer. Just take one guess. I'm sure you're going to get it straight away. <laughs> so this this chicken has been adopted by. You know who. <laughs> Um, yeah, all their hearts are full. Yeah, Marta, exactly. <laughs> and um, so are all the goats. He's adopted one of each. <laughs> oh, look, look, see, there's, there's Archer. Archer's going strong. But they're all, they're all completely maxed out. I, so I don't really know what it is. Obviously missing something. And the uh, the mount, I have fed all of the food. He's completely upgraded. So I don't know what else that could be. I mean, I've just been keep like petting him every day and hoping that eventually it's going to. Is that the maximum amount of animals you can get? It is. So the the sheds are fully upgraded. So this is the Totokaku. Um, I don't know how to get the gold statue of him either. Right, let's go check out the waterside biome. I think we should have some coconuts to harvest, yeah. Okay, I have got stuff growing in the cave and it's ready to harvest. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. And pineapple's not ready yet. Okay, let's those. Right, let's check our letter then. It must be from Arius. We should be able to... Oh no, it's the Castle Lewis Times. We haven't had any newspaper reports for ages. Castle Lewis new News. A word of encouragement. This is the publisher of the Castle Lewis News with a personal message representing my own views. Sadly, I cannot divulge my identity, but I urge you all to read this message. This has got to be from an omen, right? The kingdom has been subject to a number of catastrophes over the past few months. All of these incidents were in fact connected to a crisis that affects the whole planet. A certain group of humans have been preventing each of these crises before they could happen. 
They continue to fight for us in this very moment. Are you reading this? If you are, I have confidence in you. As Diantha said, this dream is shared by every life on this planet. That is what my logic circuitry is telling me. It is an omen right in the newspapers. I thought it was. I hope all citizens will join me in encouraging this brave band of heroes. They are fighting tirelessly to save our planet. Intelligence Division A. Okay, I'm just going to continue Aria's storyline. Okay, let's go back to the dungeon then. I hope you bring back souvenirs. Maybe I need to be riding him instead of like, taking the airship everywhere, but I don't know. It's, it takes a lot longer to get anywhere on him than <laughs> it does in the airship. But if I knew that that was what it was I needed to do, then I would do it. But it's that fact that you don't actually know what is required to get the gold statue. Oh, I can't even get here on him anyway. going on this is the this is the cellar nursery right why, why not I'm confused now do I have to oh, I don't know do I have to go there from here There's nobody here anymore. Do you need something from me? Possibly. Well, how do I... How do I get back there? <laughs> I don't know what to do again. I mean, last time it was all done in, in the midst of a big cutscene. Oh, okay, maybe it's this. <laughs> oh, so it's not, it's like, oh, okay, so where, where the whole thing exploded, it's there, it's not in the thing in the sea. Okay. So we should have one shortcut, so we've prepared one ladder. So we can... where is that? Go straight... yeah, we can just go straight to the ladder. Okay, we need to eat some food, because... Uh, Lullaby, you're very low on stamina. Enjoying this job a lot more now. I've leveled it up a bit. This um, what's it even called? <laughs> I don't know what this job is called. It's the uh, pilgrim. Yeah. A humanoid monster looks like it's going to cross your path through the room. Looking a little closer, you see it's holding onto a shiny stone. 
That stone will probably go for a lot of money. You have the upper hand and could probably swipe it in a fight. Well, it's a monster. We're going to kill it anyway, right? This monster looks stronger than the others nearby. You need to be careful. We're going to go for it, right? We always go for it. You decide to jump the monster while it's unaware. Samurai. Oh no, actually Samurai has cooled down. Let's go with this. Here I go. Yeah. Go. Oh, we've got a sunstone. Nice. We've got the wind turbines somewhere here. On the lake, on a different level. Oh, they're up there, okay. Hmm. So I guess we can't do anything. I think it's all up on the next level. How do we get up there then? It has to be this way. There doesn't seem to be any other places on the map that I can continue from. Oh, look, there's a water spout here. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Which way are we going? Okay, we're going across there. Literally, we just got here. <laughs> it's not time for something yet. Oh, that man. enemy looks to be on another level. We're better off avoiding it. Okay, well, which way are we going? Going straight across, I think. Please don't fall on the fear. Phew. Okay. Got more on the Okay, that oh. okay, that's new. Okay, we've got fear and a oh hang on a minute, it's two different types of fear. So Hagen and the uh, weird bird horse things. Okay, I'm just gonna make a run for it. This one looks strong. Okay, so we've got ooh, moon fruit sapling. Okay, this is the final um, bush tree that I'm waiting to get. I've got all of the other plants the game has apart from this one. Okay, so which way am I going to go? I'm just gonna run really quick. I'm hope for the best. We need to head back very soon. We're almost out of time. So we can get another checkpoint. Well, shall we begin? Need, we need 
checkpoint first. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, it's so close. Can we make it if we just run? I can't sprint this when one looks strong. it's too late at night. That's not good. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> Hopefully we get there before we pass out. Ugh, not being able to sprint is really bad. Come on, you can do it, Lullaby. You can do it, yes. <laughs> oh, I was expecting there to be a, uh, a monolite here or something, but there is not. We made it to the cutscene at least. I think we're about to pass out as soon as it ends though. Is this a laboratory? The words Project Gaia are written here. That's right. Research into Project Gaia was conducted here. Project Gaia. This facility is beneath the planet's crust. Well, the real one is. The real one? How can that be? Shouldn't there be a solid mantle beneath the Earth's crust? That's one scientific explanation. You wanted, hang on, that's, that's one scientific explanation you wanted, isn't it? Is this monolite? I did not know one so large existed within this planet. It is, is it really so strange? What you call the Red Queen also emerged from the Earth's crust. So the planet is filled with monolite? You're half right. Think of it this way, the planet itself is one giant monolite. What? Planets are the circulatory organs, giant crystalline bodies floating in the nothingness of space. Through the power of one such crystalline body, humanity awoke and humanity evolved. Hmm. Just like you, they didn't believe it at first either. But when you're confronted with reality, your next thought is how to utilise it. A scientific group named Animus wanted to use the monolite in the planet to create a supercomputer. Diantha should be well aware of the monolite's property for transmitting light, correct? That is correct. The Animus researchers set out to reach this place and turn the planet into a single giant supercomputer. That was Project Gaia. If the planet is really a giant monolite, then logically their thinking is sound. We use the monolite as circuitry system between the seas light, however. Why would they want to do that? To pray for the happiness of mankind. Towards the end of the Gregorian calendar, war and mutual distrust grew worse by the day. Animus dreamed of a paradise where humanity understood each other, just like any other scientist. But they did not know that the girl they would create would spell the end of everything. Is this the her you wanted us to save? Who is this girl? Is she the one who caused quietus? She is, and she isn't. She had one purpose, to grant humanity's wish. Come, the girl sleeps up ahead. It's either going to be like, it's going to be something weird, like it's actually going to be a lullaby. 
because she like lost her memories and everything before so it could be lullaby or it could be i don't know because lullaby still doesn't even know who she is okay do you think we can get there before we pass out we haven't got like the blackness in our vision yet so i think we might be able to make it to a mon light crystal hopefully Here we go. Perfect. Let's activate. And let's. Oh, I don't want to do that. I just actually want to return home. At least we can get straight back there now. Right, time to sleep. When I'm like working through the dungeons, I kind of I just don't want to do the farm. I don't want to do anything to do with the farm. I just want to crack on with the dungeon. I don't want to have to keep coming home. I wish that by this point of the game, the fairies would actually completely like automate everything. Oh, hey, madame, how are you doing? Thanksgiving leftovers officially gone. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you. I think it was was it Thursday? It's a few days ago now. So you've managed to get rid of all the turkey, and do you have turkey for Christmas over there as well? Because we have turkey for Christmas. So you're going to be having, like, you get rid of one turkey and then it's time to um, eat more turkey when we get to Christmas. Okay, let's feed the animals. I think, uh, and I hope that Square Enix do make another another game like this. I think they, they need to add more automation though, so it can be fully automated. So the fairies look after the farm for you, collect everything, so you can go out adventuring. It lasted a lot longer than, than last year. <laughs> well, it's nice to, you know, spend time with family, friends, or whatever it is that you do for Thanksgiving. I mean, we don't celebrate here, but... I imagine it's something similar to what we do at Christmas. Okay, let's ship these. And I guess we keep the rest. I wonder if any of these are required for weapon upgrades. I should go check, really. Okay, we've got five of these. Should we plant them? But I kind of, I really want to redo the farm and I kind of loathe to plant anything else because I'll just have to dig them up when I redo it all. Maybe we'll just plant a couple so that we can actually get the, the fruit from them. Bam! Yeah, let's just go with two. get turkey at Christmas as well and a ham yeah we used to always have a turkey and ham I would do ham on like Christmas Eve and then the turkey on Christmas Day but recently we've been actually going out for dinner on Christmas Eve just to save me the cooking I spend pretty much all day Christmas Eve getting the food ready like preparing everything and that's just for like the Christmas lunch and then by that time I've kind of had enough of it all then <laughs> just want to like have someone else cook for me so we go out for dinner now on Christmas Eve it makes it a lot easier, I think, um, if you get everything prepared the day before, so you don't have too much to do on the day, and you can enjoy it more then, I think. Hello, little crappies. Yeah, I love little all the leftovers. We always have, <clears throat> we call it Boxing Day Hello, Pie. Little crappies. We have, um, it's like turkey pie. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Crappies. Right, I'm not going to bother to replant anything because I'm Hello, little crappies. <laughs> I want some action. 
We've had a lot of cutscenes today. Hello, little crappies. 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 Okay, nearly done. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. We sadly didn't get any leftover macaroni pie. I've never heard of macaroni pie. What? What is macaroni pie? Is it like macaroni cheese in a pie? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what this is. I'm intrigued. <clears throat> oh, I actually need to keep most of these. Let's get rid of those. There we go. I think we're good. We've got a letter, so we're going to read the letter before we head back to the dungeon. To test my hypothesis. Okay, so it's from Aria. Continuing on with our prior discussion, I've tried giving it some thoughts on my own, but have made no progress, so I've decided to ask the omens. Honestly, I'm a little scared, but I can't leave my hypothesis untested. I also don't want to keep you out of the loop, and so I'd like you to come with me. I'll meet you at the Castle of Illusion from Aria. So that's her personal quest. So I think we should do that first, because this is what increases your friendship with her. It's basically macaroni and cheese made in a casserole dish. Oh, so that's just, that's how we make it in the UK. We kind of, we always bake it in the oven. We like make the sauce, put it over the cheese. We put it in the oven. Um, that's how it's traditionally made in the UK. So you call that a pie. That's interesting. Okay, let's grab this. Choreopurgation 3. Okay, so where are we going? Castle of Illusion, she said, didn't she? I hope you bring back souvenirs. Macaroni pie is special occasions, and the rest of the year is made in the pot. Okay, I mean, I do sometimes make it in the pot. I make it both ways. It depends, like time wise if I have like lots of time because obviously it takes longer to cook in the oven um yeah we need to land right <laughs> let's go find Diana not Diana that's Aria we're looking for Aria oh here we go that's like nice and helpfully easy okay it's stream raiders time We've got plenty of units this time. Okay, off we go. Okay, all this talk of macaroni and cheese is making me super hungry. I'm going to have to finish soon and have some dinner, I think. <laughs> are ripping these apart. They did not stand a chance. Okay, I think maybe we can do one more before I take a break for some food. Oh yeah, it's the last, it's like the mega boss, right? So we should definitely do that. Hopefully we'll still get lots of people for this one. Go. Let's go with this uh, Templar. Let's use him. So yeah, we also put lots of cheese on the top. Some people put like breadcrumbs on the top of their um, macaroni cheese. I'm not a huge fan of that, to be honest. I like just lots of cheese on top. Or sometimes like salami is nice on the top. That that's good. Now we're all here. 
Sorry for the short notice, Dianthus, but I'm glad you can make it. It's fine. What did you mean, though? You said you wanted a physical examination. But you don't look injured. From what I can see, you appear to be in good health. Well, actually... Ari explains the situation to Dianthus. I see. You'd like me to check if your personality is artificial like ours. That's right. We won't need to perform any kind of physical examination on you to determine that, then. As I explained to you before, you are the real Aria. Our own experiments confirm that you are Aria the Benthal, a cane subspecies of human. Really? Are you 100% sure? Absolutely. We wouldn't have delegated full access to you without such confirmation. That's true, I suppose. From the cells we collected from you, we concluded that you are the same individual as Aria Lebenthal. Markers such as the base sequence of your DNA and brainwave patterns all corroborated our reasoning. I can show you the results from those experiments if you have doubts. No, that's all right. Just out of curiosity, though, what would have happened if my personality was implanted by you, Omens? That is a redundant hypothesis. Why? While it may well be possible, from a technological standpoint, to transfer personality data between humans, in reality, we cannot do it. Any technology that interferes with human consciousness is an infringement of the three major regulations. Oh, what are the three major regulations? I think Geist mentioned those before. What are they exactly? You didn't know either? The three major regulations are a set of ethical rules that our developers put in place for us. The first one is the irreversibility of time. This is as Geist explained to you before. Time can only travel in one direction from the past into the future. This is why it would be impossible to create a time machine. The second one is the inalterability of humankind. Put plainly, we do not have the right to alter the scientific definition of the human. It is because of this regulation that we cannot transfer personality data between humans. I see. If you implant personality data into someone, you could argue that they're not human anymore? As AI, you don't have the means to address such a highly ethical issue. So they decided that AI mustn't be allowed to alter human personalities. That is right. What's more, you humans don't possess the technology to transfer personalities among yourselves. That is why you have retained your original personality. How about the last regulation? What's that all about? The last one cannot be spoken. Ooh. Why not? I thought I had access to the highest level of protected information. It is not a matter of security. I simply cannot put it into words. The third regulation exists outside the realm of logic. Therefore, we are unable to express it with our logical ability. Logic has its limitations. To find out, you would have to repair our core architecture. I see. It's like... Wittgenstein's philosophy. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Essentially, you're saying... that my consciousness is without doubt that of Aria Lebenthal. Yes, no transfer procedures have been performed. You are undoubtedly... you. Oh. That's good news though, right, Aria? Yeah, in a way. At least we found out that I'm not a fake, but now my research is back to square one. Now, how do we explain the 2,000 year blank space in my consciousness? Dianthus, please lend me your knowledge. That would be extremely difficult. If you look at it logically from within the scope of our known science, you shouldn't exist. 
However, on the other hand, you could also suppose that some things surpass the realm of known science. For example, the notion of there being a soul linked to the physical body. Are you being serious? You must be mal malfunctioning. Is something broken in there? I am not. I believe this to be similar in nature to Geist's theory of the planet's memory centre. When Geist reached the limit of logic, he explained it by hypothesising the existence of the metaphysical. And we already know that explanation to be correct up to a certain point, do we not? That being the case, the existence of a human soul would be a logical conclusion. I see. The more logically you look at it, the harder it becomes not to include the metaphysical in your explanation. The metaphysical is just that which cannot be explained by modern science, that's all. Much like how your predecessors would attribute all the laws of physics to God. Hmm. Though our technology, through our technology, we have understood everything there is to know about the hardware, that is your brain. But that alone is not enough to explain the blanks in your consciousness. I see. It's like how guys couldn't analyse the seas like. Yes. Sorry, I couldn't give you the answer you were looking for. No, not at all. I think we've made progress. It seems like the answer lies somewhere in the consciousness and the soul. I'm a scientist, though. Why am I trying to step into the supernatural territory? Because it's fun. It's interesting. And for the sake of finding out the truth. I know, I'm just whining. Anyway, I think we're done here. Thank you for coming, Dianthus. No problem. That's what I'm here for. You too. Thank you. I'll put some more thought into this when I get home. I'll let you know if I make any progress, so please wait for me until then. Okay, the study of the soul. Closeness with Aria has risen. Okay, so we get more critical hits and break gauge fill rate. Nice. Let's head back to the dungeon, shall we? Still fairly early. Spiral to the beginning. Okay, we're gonna need some food. We're gonna go for veggies, right? To think that this is what was inside Regaia's crust. This goes against all learned science. Some voice acting? Wow. Here I go. I need to look at So there's fear here from, <clears throat> it seems to be all the different areas. I'm guessing they probably get looks to be on another level. more We're powerful as well as you go along. Come on, slide into that coffin, that coffin, <laughs> treasure chest. Okay, we managed to avoid all of those, that's good. Let's eat some food. I appreciate it. Uh, let's change job because uh, I kind of want to cool down for those. Get out of there! Okay, moon fruit sap things. Oh wow, we're getting loads of these. Oh, in that case, I'll plant 
more if we've, if we've got plenty of them and they're easy to get like drops and mobs oh wow these are all fear i'm just gonna run i mean they are amber but the previous like area they were amber and i couldn't heal them so i'm not gonna risk it maybe once their weapons are fully upgraded Hello, it, how, I, don't, I really don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, Enel, Enelli, Enelli? I probably really butchered that, I do apologise. How are you doing? I've seen you chatting on, um, oh goodness, I've forgotten his name now, that other streamer, hang on, let me just check my follower list. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can't remember, but I've been watching, I've, I've seen you chatting. <laughs> With the other streamer I've been watching that's been playing um, Harvest Ella. So how are you doing? I hope you're good. Are you also playing Harvest Ella? Okay, where are we now? Dead end. Let's go uh, this way. Oh wow, we've got loads of stuff here. What is all of this? Something shiny catches your eye near the stone pillar. If you move a few rocks out of the way, you could probably get it out. But the pillar doesn't look very stable. Move the wrong stone and the whole thing would crumble. <laughs> okay, yes, we're going to do it anyway. Because we don't care about the risks, right? You move the stones and the pillar remains stable. Take the shiny object with no issue. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. We've got a large fire core. Nice. I guess some of these are going to break though, right? Yeah, okay. It's the same. Yes, we're going to go for it. Large ice core. And this time... We get... A large earth ball. Oh, a fun time stream. Yeah, I knew I, I, I knew it, I remember you from somewhere. I couldn't remember. I watch so many streamers. It's like it's difficult to like keep track, especially with my brain. Yeah, I did enjoy watching him um, playing Hubster, especially as he like got like completely one hundred percent of the game. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we jumped out of the way without injury. That that's good, right? Oh, how many more of these are there left? Is that is that it? We've got them all. Yeah, he started playing Pokemon um, now. Pokemon's not really my cup of tea, to be honest. But I do enjoy watching him stream. Um, right, let's let's get this over with. Job, I think. And... Damn it, we got we got charmed. <laughs> right in the middle of oh that it kind of like stunned my um my job ability that's that was not great I appreciate it there we go that enemy looks to be on oh another goodness, level we're better off There's avoiding like it so many of them like everywhere Where I need to go. Let's look at the map. Okay, I think I need to be down south, southwest. I know, right? I was watching him grinding out some of the last things he needed to do. So, I mean, I would, I would like to get a hundred percent on this, but I'm playing on Switch and there's no trophies. I kind of like feel like, you know. You, spend all that time and you don't even get a trophy for it. I don't where am I going? <laughs> okay, this way. Oh, I think I need to be up on the next level. I don't think I can go the way the map is saying I need to go. Shit. <laughs> okay, we've got this chest at least. Oh we've got a truffle. Nice. Let's get away from this though, shall we? <laughs> 
Okay, we're definitely on a different floor, so I guess we need to go back. This one looks strong. No, I can't. Shit. <laughs> can't find anything here. Let's get out. Okay, in that case... I don't know which way to go. <laughs> uh, I think we have to go back the way we came. But no, because that was a ladder and we have to repair that from the top. He helped you out a lot in the game. He's so lovely. He's really nice. Uh, I could actually use his help right now, to be honest. I don't know where to go. The problem is with, with the fear. They take up so much space on the map that there could be some like little tiny areas on the map that you can't actually see because of it. So I can see where I think I need to go, but I can't get there, or I don't know how to get there. I don't know what to do. So I need to be on the higher area. Surely I don't have to kill these things, right? I, all of the other side of the map, I, it all looks like it's dead ends. There's nothing else there. So it's got to be... This, there's got to be something here. I don't want to go back in there though, because they're just going to eat me. <laughs> The problem is I'm always like panicking when I'm running around and uh, not paying enough attention to um, please don't see me <laughs> to what's actually there. Oh, goodness. There must be a there's a water spout somewhere that will lift me up. That's probably what I meant. Is that one just over there? I think I see one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Found it. Right. So I think we need to go straight across to the next um, wind turbine. And okay, we're going that way. Big. Okay, here we are. So we can fix this ladder now. So that's another short that we have. Perfect. And, uh... Oh, here we are. <laughs> Getting turned around. So we've got more fear up ahead. And an icy arena, so I we just need to go straight straight through it, right? This one looks strong. I haven't seen one like this before. This is new. This must be new for you know for this specific dungeon. Oh no, this is still cool down. Here I go! Let's get this over with. That is a walk in the park. Okay. This 
slowly getting that way. What have we got down here? This, uh, oh, we've got another chest. Large water core and whatever this is. There's a device by the side of the road with the letter H written on it. Oh, you're not going to give me any more of that? Is this going to be some puzzle I have to solve? Hmm. Okay. Which way am I going? Oh, there's another one. Well, no! <laughs> I need to sleep. Oh, I have to go and let grab that. I appreciate it. Okay, how close are we? There's probably not going to be a monolite for ages, so at least we did get that ladder. So we probably just going to have to go home. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. I really appreciate that. There's a device by the side of the road with a little C ring on it. Okay, this, this is not helping me. I have no idea this what one to do with this. So this is... Okay, obviously we need to drop down here. Oh, wow, well, so many. It's like fear everywhere. This is going to be a good place to come hunting for accessories, I guess, though, because all the different types are here. Let's repair this ladder. At least we've got another shortcut. Another letter? There's a device by the side of the road with the letter N written on it. Okay, time to head back. Yep, let's go. Okay, so I am getting super hungry, so I think I'm going to take a little break. Let's see if we can find someone to raid first. Uh, let's see if anyone else is... Anyone I know is streaming. Who have we got streaming? Oh, okay. So, the streamer that raided me earlier, one of their friends is streaming, so I think we're going to go and give them a, a raid. I haven't ever watched their stream before. Uh, they're playing Persona 5 Royale, so our Night Archer, if you're still here, I know you're going to enjoy that. So please stay for the raid, especially uh, if you want to earn some extra chocobo feathers, extra channel points. Okay, let me just set everything up. Okay. I think we're all ready to start the raid. So I'm going to have some food. I may be back again with another stream later. Uh, if the mood takes me. <laughs> um, with some more Harvestella. Okay, let's start this raid off. There we go. Okay, so thanks everyone for hanging out with me today. And uh, yeah, maybe see you again 
later today. If not, it will be tomorrow. So take care now. Bye-bye.